Police are reviewing the arrest of a teenager after the 16-year-old was left with a broken wrist. A justice reform group has condemned the police action, saying the fact that the teen was travelling with a gang member should not affect the way he was handled. Simon Mercip reports. This is a 16-year-old's reminder of a brush with police. Oh, I think I shouldn't really be in this position at the moment. Broken hand, a broken wrist. And I just wanted to enjoy New Year's since I had a good year with my friends. Here's how it started. That's Tanielu at Whangamata on New Year's Eve. Police are talking about an alcohol ban in the area. One officer moves, apparently, to take Tanielu's arm. A brief scuffle ensues. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just walk. Just walk. What are you doing? Just walk. What happens after the scuffle isn't filmed, but Tanielu says he was forced to the ground, then slammed into a police van. Probably be like... Like that. His wrist was left swollen and out of shape. A medical note describes a radius fracture to his wrist, a pressure injury. Taniello was with a friend in the back seat when police stopped the vehicle. The adult driver says the police attitude changed when they saw another adult wearing a gang patch. They just pulled us out of the car, separated us by a few metres each. There's been about ten officers and there's four of us. The response worries one justice reform group it is likely that um, because it was a vehicle that was associated with the mongrel mob that they were subject to a higher degree of um, profiling um, and uh, surveillance and that there is completely, again, unjustifiable. Tanielu is a son of the mongrel mob's Waikato leader. It's not known whether police were aware of this. In their first statement, police emphatically rejected any allegation of using force. In a second statement issued a few hours later, they said further inquiries had been made and they would conduct a review into the arrest to determine what had happened. No one was, was, was uh, charged with anything. We were just let go. Tanielu says police have now asked him for a statement. Tonight, his whānau are seeking legal advice. Simon Merseb, One News.